Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori and today we are participating in the Tracy Reed Designs YouTube Hop for the new release of the Huga Season Collection. I'm really excited because I am going to be using this collection to kind of set up January and start my first page in my scrappy spiral notebook. So I'm very excited. This one took a lot of thinking. It didn't come together for me as easily as I was hoping it would, probably because it is a brand new project, but that's neither here nor there. I do end up getting it finished and I'm really excited to be able to use this collection to do so. It's a fantastic collection. So I'm right now just kind of getting all of my photos trimmed out and then I will start working on my January cover page. The large piece of paper that I have pulled out for the January cover page is actually part of the Huga Winter collection, which is, I believe, included if you spend more than $10 on the Huga Season collection. So definitely go check that out. I love, absolutely adore a good text paper. And that's what this is. And it just has a bunch of wintry type words on it. And it's gorgeous. So I'm going to cover my entire first page with this patterned paper. And I also used the alphas from the digital kit to write out hello 2024 and I printed that out on just regular matte sticker paper. So I'll pull that up next and get that added to the middle of my page as kind of an introduction to the year and then a little bit later on in the video I'll come back and also add January to this as well because I'm not going to have a new year for each cover page that I do. It will be monthly so I wanted to have January written on here as well to kind of have that noted. I have printed out two out of three of the sticker sheets that are available in this collection on actual sticker paper. Normally I just print them out on like cardstock and cut them out with my Cricut, but I wanted to try doing the actual stickers this time around. Um, so I'm doing that and just adding a couple of these stickers around my Hello 2024 like title. And then I will move on to getting my very first spread done. So this sticker paper, you'll see me struggle with it just a bit. This is from, I can never remember where it's from when I actually go to say it in a video. I don't know, I don't know what the problem is there, but I can never remember. It's, I always have it linked below. If I ever try to cut out and do like a kiss cut, with this sticker paper. I think it's just a little bit too thin, but that's also the reason that I love it so much. So sometimes whenever I go to do like the kiss cuts, like I've done for these ones, to have an actual sticker sheet, it pulls up the backing and then like really makes it hard for me to get the stickers off. So you'll see me a little bit throughout this video struggling with these sticker sheets, but it's not because of Tracy's file, it's because of the way that I it's because of the paper that I use, I guess, the sticker paper that I actually use. So I went, I wanted to use that heart sticker, the one with the five hearts or four hearts. It's either four or five hearts. Um, I wanted to use that and put it on my photo with my husband, but I was struggling with it. So I decided to just move along to getting my photos adhered down. If something starts really frustrating me when I'm working on a project, I will generally set it aside and take a breather from that particular thing so that I don't get irritated and just stop crafting altogether. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just getting all of my photos adhered down and then trimming some of these down just a little bit more because I really want to have a white border in my boxes. The Scrappy Spiral Notebook that I'm using, I actually purchased from Heba from my little journal. I will have her Etsy shop linked below. I don't think that this particular one is available right now. I think it's just the peaches that's left. Uh, but I know that she said she will be ordering more to post in her shop if you're interested in checking out a documenting method like this. 
So I am once again just going to go back and continue adding some stickers in. I will add a little word phrase sticker that says I think my favorite place is together and I'm going to overlap that with both the photo of my husband and myself and my daughter and myself. I will add the warm and cozy sticker to the piece of scrap embroidery hoop paper that I had left over from one of my other projects for this release. So I do like to try and get my scraps used up when I can and I thought that this little square would be a perfect place to do that. And since these stickers have a white border, I just added the war, oh no, I used the Huga Vibes sticker. So I just added that one right into the middle of that patterned paper. And then I'm going to sprinkle around all of the stars that I have left on this sticker sheet and add a little candle to my January reading journal cover page setup. I was super excited with that setup and loved it. So I wanted to document it in my actual scrappy spiral notebook here. I'll also add two hearts from this sticker sheet as well. And to be quite honest with you, I am really proud with how many of these stickers I actually used. I kind of wish I had stuck that chair on here as well, but alas, I didn't. I also have a cutout from one of the journaling cards from the journal card set. It's, I don't know which one it is, but like I said, I will list that in the description box below. And it says, be present and spread, what does it say? Be present and spread yourself in Oh, be present and surround yourself and ground yourself in gratitude. Oh, goodness. This, the screen is so small. Be present and ground yourself in gratitude is what that says. And I just overlapped that with one of my boxes just to kind of have that listed in there as well because I really liked that quote. I'm going to add my dates for the first week of January. So January 1st through January 7th. And then I'm going to hand letter week one down at the very bottom of my page. And I'm actually going to do my journaling on camera, which is something that I don't normally do. But I was already here and just in the mood to do it. And I didn't really talk about anything major in this journaling. I just talked about a few of the things that we did this past week, which is really kind of what I want to use this particular notebook for. Just everyday memory keeping. So I took a picture of a card that I made with a friend, my bullet journal set up, a picture that I took of me and Luna, just very everyday moments that I wanted to remember because they brought me joy. I'm going to pull out a yellow orange marker which does not match anything. So since I highlighted one spot of this already, I am also going to highlight the dates. And then I will flip back over to my cover page and this is where I'm going to add my January. And I will also use my Tombow Furunosuke pen and just hand letter that in as well. And then that's going to be it. Um, I will have everybody that is participating in this YouTube hop linked in the description below. So definitely go check out all of their videos. There is some excellent creations on there. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!